In this video, I will be doing a level up slash experience system, this may have more parts in the future. Here is what we will do today. At the bottom, we have the level and XP bar. If I press a button I get a random amount of XP. If you level up and you get more XP than you need, it will get passed over to the next level. That is why this progress bar is still blue when leveling up. Anyway, let's start. Go to your player character. First, we will start with some variables. Create a float variable for current XP. We need another float variable for max XP. We also need a variable called current level, this is an integer as it's a whole number. Give your max XP and current level some starting values. So let's move on to functions. Add a function at the right here. This can be as simple as add XP. Similar to the health tutorial, this does need a float input called amount. Ok, first get your current XP. Next, we need to get the add node and then add amount to it. Now right click the circle and promote that to a local variable. This can be local added XP. We are going to use this quite a bit. Next, add in a branch, the condition will be if local added XP is greater than your max XP, so get a greater than sign. Also get your max XP variable. Let's deal with false first. Do a set current XP. This will be the local added XP because we don't need to calculate any extra XP as we won't be leveling up. Next, I want to add a reroute node as we will be adding this back to a single line. Now back on to true. If it is true, create the local variables. We want a local given XP, this is how much they need to be given. We also need local extra XP for after the level up. Now make sure they are float variables. Now on true. Set local given XP. That is just the max XP and then the subtract node. And then the current XP. Connect it to the local given XP. Now for the extra XP. Set that, then do local added XP. Subtract that from max XP. We then want to set current XP to our new XP. This is current XP. Then do an add, next put the local given XP. Now you can drag from the node and add a reroute node. Connect the false to the reroute too. We will do widgets later. Let's put local given XP to zero. We need a new function. Create a function to the side and call it increase level. Now give it an input. This is extra XP. We then want a branch. This function will only continue if the current XP is greater than or equal to the max XP. Now, we want to get current level. We want to add 1 to it. Now do a set current level. We want to now set current XP to 0. Now we want to set the max XP. Now you could keep it the same but I want to make it higher every time you level up. So I will do max XP and then add probably 0.5. Ok, so I want it to rise but I don't want to go insanely high to the point it gets tedious. We can use a clamp to rise it to a certain number like 1000 XP. Now at the end, we can do a branch. This is important. Now the condition is if your extra XP is greater than 0. If true, then we can just call the increase XP function. The amount would just be the extra XP. Now compile and go back to your add XP function. At the end call your increase level function. The input for this is extra XP local variable. Now I am going to test it by adding in print strings everywhere. Here we can do current XP. I will do a format text. In here, you would do squiggly brackets and then current and max. Those will create inputs for this. Put the current XP and max XP. Now reading it will be weird because they are floats. So we could multiply each by 100 so it looks like whole numbers. This should look better. Go to your player event graph, and have some test inputs. Then use the add xp function to test. Just add in a value of how much you gain. Then test it. If it is a successful test, 
then continue with the widget. Right click content browser, create a UI folder. Then create a widget blueprint, just click on that first button. This is the XP widget. Open it up and first thing you have to do is add in a canvas panel. Next, add a progress bar to act as the XP bar. Anchor it to the corner. Then size it however you want. But the most important part is making sure the is variable is ticked and that it has a name. Next, add a text to be the level number. Also anchor and size this. Here you can name it and tick the variable check. Now go to your event graph. We need a custom event to update our XP bar. We also need another custom event to update our levels. Ok so before we get the main part done. We can do a get XP bar and set percent. Same with the other event, we can do get level text and then set text node. However now we need to get values. The best way is to use an interface to get our values. Go to your content browser. Right click and in the blueprints category, get blueprint interface, type bpi underscore player. The function can be called get xp. Then we need float outputs to be the current xp and we need another one for the max xp. Ok now we also need another function called get current level value. This one also needs an output, which is an integer. Call this current level. Once it is done, compile and then go to your player character. Go to your class settings at that top, add in an interface at the side. Once you add it, at the left side, there should be your functions. You can now open up get xp and drag in your xp values. Then do the same for current level. Now back in your UI. You want to get player charator. With interfaces, you don't need to cast so you can just do get xp and this function will be here for you. Now for percentages, you want to do current divided by max value. That way it will be accurate for the bar. For the level event, get player character and get your current level function. It's going to be a bit different. What we need is a format text. Here we want to do level. Then squiggly brackets and then inside of that, will be an input name like X. Once written, you can go from the level and connect that to X. It's usually best to get these data set at the start too so it's the correct values. Get your event construct. Then just call the update XP and update level functions. Compile and then go to your player class. Go to your event graph. We need an event begin play so we can add this widget to the viewport. Create widget. Select your widget and then promote this to a variable. Player widget reference. Add that to the viewport. Now open up your add xp function. Where we put our print string. We can replace that with your get widget dot reference. From there, just get your update XP function and connect it. Then, go to your add level function. Read the code carefully and see where it needs to be. The first one should be just before this branch. Get your widget and call the update level function. We can then add a update XP function afterwards to make sure progress bar resets. That's the widget done. Now go test it again, see if it all updates correctly. Right now you are just pressing an input. But I will be uploading tutorials on getting XP other ways and also what we can use XP for as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any problems, comment below or join the Discord. Consider subscribing and sharing. And see you next time.